Hello, Jennifer Bailey here with another tutorial on using YouTube. What I'm going to show you in this video is how to get this very cool subscribe button on all your videos. And what I like most about it is it can appear on all of your videos and by hovering your mouse over it you can see that um, it will tell you how many subscribers I have 145 I'd like that to make some more so please subscribe after you watch my video and also if you click on this button because it is actually a clickable link it would take your visitors to your YouTube channel so I'm going to show you how to do that now so what you need to do is go to your avatar and click on the drop down arrow and come across to video manager then you come down to channel settings. Now I don't know if you have to be a partner or have to have particularly good standing in order to use the InVideo programming. If I look down at my settings, I'm in quite good standing, but it doesn't say anything about using the InVideo programming. So anyway, click on InVideo programming and what we're looking at here is the branding watermark. Now I've seen them on other people's videos and I really did, had no idea that they that's what this was. I just thought that somehow they cleverly got an image or a thumbnail on their video. And I thought I need to figure out how to do that. And I didn't realize quite how simple it was because when I was typing into the into Go, you when I was typing into YouTube, I didn't know what I was looking for because I didn't know it was the in video programming. And I'd seen in video programming before, but I didn't know that's what that did. So anyway, at the moment I have got an image on here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll remove it in a minute and show you how to put another one on. So when you're picking your image, I would suggest you play around with something that's quite strong with strong colors. So because if you have like, for example, before, I think I had keep calm and subscribe me because I thought it was quite cool. But actually, with too much white writing on the red background, it really didn't show up on the channel. So instead, I've gone for this red sort of rectangle with a play button and subscribe written underneath just to indicate to my viewers that it is a subscribe button because a lot of people have YouTube channels or go to YouTube but don't know that you can subscribe to other people's channels. And also, the other really good thing about this this watermark this branding watermark is you can it will show up in your analytics so if you added a google analytics tracking id to your channel you'll be able to see how many people have subscribed by clicking on this image here anyway let me show you how to do it so i'm going to remove mine so i'm going to just take that off so now this is how it should look when you come into the in video programming you click add a watermark and then you need to upload one. So what it's suggesting here is rather than having kind of um, an opaque background, you go for a transparent background and you go for a nice strong color um, on the front, basically, so it shows up. So you have to choose a file and I'm just gonna go to my image that I've just shown you. And here we are, subscribe, play. There's my button. Click open and save. Okay, so that's uploaded. Okay, and then what you can do is you can change when you want it to start. Okay, so you can have it at the end of the video, you can have a custom start time, or you can have it on for the entire video. Well, I've chosen just to have it at the beginning. So it starts after five seconds, and it would now turn itself off after 25 seconds. So I'll click update. Okay, that should be done now. And if we go back to my video manager, let me pick this video, this one will do. And let's play it. You'll see after five seconds, I'll just turn the um, audio off. We'll just wait for the videos to, wait for the adverts to stop. There we go. So now in five seconds, three, four, five, there it is. There we go. That stopped me waving my arms about. Anyway, I'm Jennifer Bailey, and I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please 
SSE. Share, subscribe and comment. And please leave me a message because I do get back to everybody. And or if you prefer, you can tweet me at, at Jennifer Bailey.